Hello and welcome to the Airlines Flight Attendant Interviews Do's and Don'ts, Tips and Rules. So, the do's and don'ts of flight attendant interviews. The tip here is that there are some cardinal rules when it comes to the do's and don'ts of flight attendant interviews. Now, cardinal, the adjective, means principal, first, highest, greatest, leading, important, chief, main, prime, central, key, essential, primary, fundamental, paramount, foremost, and preeminent. Now, when recruiting, the Airlines ideal is to take an objective view and follow best practice guidelines to determine an applicant's capabilities and competencies. Now your airline's interviewing goal is to select people who meet the selection criteria and possess the qualities and target areas of interest to the airline essential to the airline's continued success. Now as a flight attendant in interview, your cardinal rule is to do everything you can to pass the interview and get the job. Now. This means that there are do's and don'ts that you should or should not display in a flight attendant interview that are quite literally cardinal rules. Now, the do's and don'ts of flight attendant interviews, let's take a look at them, all 16 in no specific order as they are all important. Now, before we get into this, the biggest tip first, however, is to know that from the moment you step into view of an interviewer, you will be under observation. And by sheer coincidence, this just may be the person that sits next to you on the train that you catch on your way to the interview. And and personally, I had a little I have a little story that relates to this. Um, I uh, helped out with interviews for one of the airlines I was with. I wasn't actually facilitating, but I was uh, I was helping out in, in, on this particular day. And uh, it was in a country t oh, in a country town. It was in a city that is a bit like a big country town. Adelaide in Australia, by the way, is the place I'm talking about. Um, it's a city and I had a main road and I was driving down the road and I pulled up at this stop lights and I happened to, on the way to help out or be assistance at the interview, and I peered over to the next driver in the next car, as you do, and it was rather an attractive girl, which caught my eye. And then, uh, and then I saw her puff on a cigarette. Now, to me, as a non-smoker, that's instantly unattractive. Now, that might be right and that might be wrong, but to me, that was instantly unattractive. Now, I, and I didn't have any influence in the, because I was facilitating on this day, I didn't, that didn't bear any influence on whether she got the job or not, but it certainly, as an interviewer, if I was interviewing on that day, I've already seen something that was distasteful to me, like smoking. And, uh, you know, everyone has their views on smoking, but it's it's not an attractive habit. And it certainly, uh, it, it didn't put a good impression on me. So that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, just be aware that uh, no matter where you might be, you might be on the train, on your way to the interview, there's plenty of other people on the way to the interviews as well. One of them might be, uh, might be your interviewer. So uh, from the moment you leave home, basically uh, you're on display because you never know who it might be that rocks up at your interview and uh, and saw you in the car or on the train or however you get to your interview. So uh, let that be the biggest tip for the day before you start. So let's get into the do's and don'ts of flight attendant interviews. Cardinal rules number one, uh, off uh, first cab off the rank, do groom immaculately. Basically don't forget your grooming. There is no excuse for less than immaculate grooming. And the uh, we discuss uh, Cardinal Rules, by the way, uh, in great detail in the airline's Be a Flight Attendant Today program uh, extensively. Uh, what, is, what is the airline's Be a Flight Attendant Today training program? Well, it's a 30-day comprehensive Be a Flight Attendant training program starting from scratch, delivered in 30 videos and nine online website-based electronic flipbooks. Now, uh, <laughs> more about that in a moment. Let's get back to the do's and the don'ts, and I'll explain that uh, after we get through the uh, the 14 do's and don'ts, yeah? So, okay, number two, do, uh, on, the, on the do side, walk, talk, stand, and sit with purpose, as opposed to don't, straggle, yatter, droop, or slouch. Remember, at this, on the day, from the moment you leave home, you may be observed somewhere doing something, and it's just about going through your day with purpose, yeah? Flipping the page to Cardinal Rule number three, do uh, listen, look, and acknowledge as opposed to don't tune out and forget. And that goes for everywhere, even uh, for class or class assembly, for uh, interview assembly, uh, for when you're uh, addressed by the 
the when they bring you into the interview, you'll be addressed by the interviewer or one of the representatives. Um, basically, don't tune out at that time. This is your time to, you're in the interview. Um, listen, look and acknowledge, yeah? Um, and, and that goes through all your interactions, even with everyone. Uh, your next door neighbour or your, your co-flight attendant maybe that's sitting next to you. Um, look, uh, listen, look and acknowledge, yeah? Okay, through to over the page to Cardinal Rules number four. Do smile and enjoy yourself as opposed to don't be moody or unhappy. Guys, this is an interview. Uh, be, you're there to enjoy yourself yeah, and look as though that you actually are. Um, try not to fake things. Uh, generally try and enjoy the day. Uh, that's what, uh, again, you'll be observed. So uh, do find someone to talk to, someone that you might even uh, get a smile out. Enjoy, enjoy yourself, find ways to enjoy yourself throughout the day and participate, yeah? So, uh, but we'll get to that in a moment. So number, number five. Uh, flipping the page, do be a team player and don't be a soloist. Soloist, really, uh, the team player. You, this is a very, very big. Uh, actually, in fact, we go through uh, what makes a team player and, and uh, group activities, and you will need to display that uh, you are a team player in uh, all sorts of ways. Yeah, and the activities will bring that out in you anyway. But be a team player, whether it be uh, you might go and get a drink of water and then and, and offer someone else. You want a glass of water whilst I'm at the water fountain, or something like that, you know, because this this may be in earshot of one of your observers, yeah. Okay, so over the page to Cardinal Rule number six: be confident and enthusiastic. This is not a place to be timid and bored. Basically, uh, you want to look at the outcome of where, why you're there. You're there for an interview, and you're there to get a job. And uh, if you get that job, wow, uh, that should be enough to be uh, enthusiastic. Uh, for you on that day and certainly be confident and look there's always to be confident and we go through that in our program as well and the more knowledge you have about your interview and uh, and what's going on on the day of course that will lead to confidence as well so flipping the page to number seven be considerate and encouraging as opposed to being bossy and selfish uh, being bossy and selfish is a very unattractive trait you can be a leader without being bossy and selfish, and you'll need to show some leadership skills as well uh, somewhere throughout the day. Uh, so just bear in mind, be considerate and encouraging, and that's just a simple, uh, it might be a, a, a small comment to make to someone that's uh, that's positive, yeah? So basically get out, uh, get any negativity out of your day when you go for a flight attendant interview. So cardinal rule number eight, uh, do be customer and people focused and um, basically get away from being self-centered. You'll notice they're very unattractive traits, all the uh, red don'ts. Um, being self-centered, of course, uh, is not really uh, what an airline is about and certainly not uh, flight attendant uh, 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 in the flight attendant job role, yeah? And it certainly has to be customer and people focused. So cardinal rules number, number nine, uh, do contribute and be supporting as opposed to don't be arrogant and know it all. Uh, contribute where you can and where appropriate and uh, be supporting of others who also want to contribute. Once again, don't get back to being bossy or uh, a know it all, really. It's a very unattractive trait. And that'll come out in uh, group interviews, absolutely. But uh, like I said, this is not pertaining just to your, uh, your role plays or your interviews. This is uh, from the moment you step in the door from the moment you leave home really, but uh, wherever that interview is held, uh, there's a very good chance that's where you will be first seen. But uh, this is what, uh, these are the traits or the cardinal rules you need to be displaying um, and sometimes just subtle. You don't have to go out of your way and, uh, and try to uh, emphasize any of this. It's just being, it's, it's about being natural and showing these traits in your natural settings. And if we tip over the page number two, uh, to cardinal rule number 10, yes, do be natural. Um, don't be false or smucky. Natural is quite easy to do if you're confident. And if you're confident, uh, your confidence will come from the knowledge you gain about your interview, how you go about it, uh, the uh, the airline that uh, you're going for. It's basically knowledge based and a bit of practice, and we go. Through, that's why we go through that in the program. Uh, I've put in there smucky. Really, uh, smucky is a very unattractive trait. It's um, uh, there's other words for smucky. Um, false is one thing, but smucky is a little bit, uh, it's a very unattractive trait. So uh, certainly don't be uh, false 
or smucky. So over the page to Cardinal Rule number 11. Do be accommodating but confident. So uh, as opposed to don't be overbearing or dominant. Um, basically that's uh, again just showing good manners on the day is to be accommodating of others and uh, and do it with purpose which is being confident. Yeah, Being dominant and overbearing that uh, gets you a fairly fast ticket out the door uh, even though it might not come at the time but at the end of the day it will be uh, thanks for coming but no thanks. So over the page to Cardinal Rule number 12, do laugh if appropriate guys, this is a fun day or should be treated as a fun day and I've been to some interviews that have been uh, one big laugh, um, appropriate laughter I should say and yes certainly some uh, some characters have come through the uh, lines as per any job uh, one would one would think and uh, of course if it's appropriate to laugh you laugh but uh, don't try and force any emotions it's uh, that's fairly well uh, picked up by anybody uh, trying to be someone that you're not so uh, yeah just go with the flow enjoy the day and you will laugh if it's uh, if it's appropriate um, it's not something to shy away from is really what that uh, that is trying to say that cardinal rule so over the page to number 13 do complete tasks as directed uh, as opposed to don't alter or complain you will be asked to do some things in an interview that uh, whether it be role play or whether the rules of the role play are uh, not what you want and I've certainly been down that path uh, it, it leaves I was in one situation where it left no real objective outcome or answer for me to be able to display and without going into it too much uh, basically I just went with the flow uh, it wasn't the place to alter or complain, it was just basically to uh, complete the task as directed and by all means uh, ask for uh, confirmation if that's the case. Um, and if we flip over to Cardinal Rule number 14, we go through that. Uh, keep to your group um, and, and this is particularly important when um, it is lots of groups, uh, I've been to one interview where uh, there was I think 10 to 12 per table and there was about maybe 8 to 10 tables so we're looking at 100 people plus in the interview room so you really have to be focused uh, each table had an observer or two from the airline as a representative observing your behavior um, basically don't involve the interviewer or the observer other than to uh, uh, for possible clarifications of directions of whatever it is they are having you do in a group discussion or whatever that might be so uh, keep your group uh, try to avoid uh, the best uh, talking to your best friend you've just found as you walk through the door and is now sitting on the other table um, just say look we'll, we'll if, if you find someone like that just it's okay we'll, we'll have a talk afterwards let's stick to task on this and stick to your table and go through what you've been asked to do in your group. And Cardinal Rule number five, uh, 15, over the page, uh, do your job, don't do their job. That's the uh, interviewer, should I say, or the, the company reps that will be observing you. Uh, basically get on with what you've been asked to do, participate and uh, try not to be the boss that uh, you might be wanting to be on. on the, it's not the place to be the boss, yeah? Uh, you're there for the interview and you're there to do what, uh, how the interview is structured, yeah? So uh, over the page two, Cardinal Rules number 16, do be pro proactive, not reactive. Um, and that's not being about, um, uh, uh, you have to think that, well, I've got, I've, I've got to be a leader here, I've got to stand up and do things. Um, sure, you have to participate and you have to be, uh, you, you have to be pro proactive. Um, and certainly not reactive. Reactive is just waiting for things to happen. It doesn't show any incentive or uh, or get up and go. Uh, so basically, yeah, proactive as opposed to being reactive, uh, and but with uh, appropriateness. Yeah. Okay. So what is the airlines be a flight attendant today online training program? Basically, it's a 30-day comprehensive be a flight attendant training program starting from scratch, delivered in 30 videos and nine online web-based uh, or website-based electronic flip books. Now it is designed to take you from grassroots entry level and show you what is required to achieve a flight attendant career step by step. Now the program unravels the requirements and the process of the application and interview process that uh, you as an applicant must know and make second nature to give you the edge in securing a flight attendant career. 
Now, your teacher has more than 20 years in aviation, having flown with five different airlines over 20 years, and has been an international and domestic cabin crew manager, and has sat on the interview panels of three of his past five airlines flown with. He's also uh, held a commercial pilot's license since 1985, and while his favourite aircraft to uh, work on is a wide body than anything, uh, with his two favourites being the 747 and the A330 aircraft. He's also been to ground school on the Fokker 50, the uh, Fokker F27, which are both prop aircraft, the F28, the Boeing 727-737-757-767, which is a wide body, Airbus A320, A321, A330 and the BAE-146 aircraft. So, flipping over the page, you can now register for the uh, free introduction videos to the airlines be a flight attendant uh, today program. You're invited to view the airlines training videos for the best job in the world. Of course, that's flight attendant. Discover the flight attendant application process used by Tom, the author, to successfully become a flight attendant with five different airlines over 20 years. Click below now. Yes, it's free. Register for the free introduction videos to the airlines, be a flight attendant today program, follow the red arrows, click the link and you're in.